Hello everyone and welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions with Chris and Nia. We are continuing on with Black Sails Season 2, Episode 3. But first, what happened in the last episode? Um, A lot happened. Um, Captain Lowe killed one of his men because he went to talk to um, Eleanor. Mm -hmm. And that was such a like, I don't know. It was a cool scene, but it sucked uh, in Eleanor's perspective yeah and for the guy getting his head well, chopped off yeah I mean, and fucking eleanor's main guy that was always by her side yes we did we ever get a name God. for him because he was always there but he didn't really have like a presence yeah right right mm -hmm. but i mean he was obviously important to her because he was like the guy at her door all the time yeah he so, never like questioned her he was yeah she could always count on him i liked him he and was he kind of a background character yeah. yeah he died um vain was like just watching and then she gave him the tip that uh, Meeks had given her. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Is he going to do anything with this? Mm -hmm. Hopefully he does. What else? Oh, and we <laughs> have the awesome Flint strategy, his experience. Uh, favorite part of that episode was basically just watching him do all of that. And it really showed that there's a lot more to this than just trying to be like, I don't know. Then just rally male people. or whatever, right? Yeah. There's more to it. And that was awesome. That was really fun to see. Um, and I can't wait to see more of this and and John. That was fun to watch. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Their duo is like really good. It's, Hilarious. Yes. And John John seems to like just be watching everything Flint does. Mm -hmm. Do you think Flint's ever gonna become a captain? Because he's got like he's watching everything. Wait, you like, mean John? You said Flint. Yeah, sorry. John, <laughs> will John ever become a captain? Because he's watching everything Flint's doing, and he's kind of just spectating. Mm -hmm. He's not really like a pirate pirate, but I don't know. He's He'll gain a lot of knowledge following Flint. I would imagine so. At one right? point, they're probably going to be at odds about something. And John is, yeah, like you said, he's really using this to learn a lot. He's observing. He's strategic. He can figure things out. He can pull things out of thin air and make it work. So. Yes. John right now is not really a force, but he soon eventually Could be. will be. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. um, That's what like else? the main. That was like the main stuff. Oh, the Max and fucking um, Jack and what's her face? And I can't wait to see this happen. I want to see a Jack Jack as a captain. Yes. And yeah, just kind of being like, well, Vane, you stopped me, but. Here I am pulling some moves. Yeah. And you mentioned off screen. What if Max is just using oh, um, uh -huh. Anne? Yes. Right? So real quick, I don't think we went into, we didn't go into deep detail with that, right? No. But Jack really has me wondering a little bit about Max's motives. And I feel kind yes. of bad for questioning her being like intimate, like with Bonnie. But the I think the when Max sold the information and she was already like running, helping run the the brothel and she was yeah. making some money, so she didn't like have to do that. She didn't have to sell any information, but she did because like, why not make more money? Which kind of makes sense. Um, it just made me wonder, like, you know, if Bonnie or Anne wanted her out and now they're close, all of a sudden she doesn't. She's not going to be out. Yes. So Jack did bring in that question, but for now, I guess it doesn't really matter. And maybe they are just going to have like a nice like romance. Um, but for now, it might not matter because they're in a trio business teaming up and stuff. Yeah. You know? So you never know if she'll eventually. Yeah. I just wonder if that's going to like come up over. again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Covered a lot. Yes. You ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go. A gift. One of my favorites. And you might find it helpful in dealing with my husband going forward. Well, that edition isn't Don Spanish, Quixote. I don't think the lieutenant speaks it. Perhaps he should learn. Oh, and now it's gonna be useful. He learned Spanish. Mm-hmm. So much of Hamilton and Miranda like influenced who he is. Yeah, looks like it. Now. Oh, what is that? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, wow. <laughs> He's like, oh, show off. <laughs> oh, you got him. 
Oh, oh. shit. This bitch. <laughs> nice. He's sizing him up, huh? Because he wants no to take his ass my arrival, I've been repeatedly provoked and harassed by the Guthrie woman. Harassed? I'd just like to know whether I'll have you to deal with too. Uh... <laughs> Not that I can see. I don't think he means that, though. Um, what is that? What's that? Pay him off. Tribute. And the respect of my crew. Huh. You think he can Lowe buy off? Lo is not that dumb. No. You think you can buy him off? <laughs> I doubt it, huh? You see how he just like dropped, like she taxed us. Yep. He's told me what you've accomplished in this place with those men. In spite of them. You know what he told me about you? Nothing. What's that? Nothing. Is it possible that you're so unremarkable as to resist any further description than that? Damn, she's coming in intense. For Why real. She... You conspire with my father to sabotage our plan. Oh, okay. Now I hear in the wind that in his absence, <clears throat> he's begun to forge new alliances with his enemies, with the farmers of the interior. I need to speak with Underhill. As a result of your actions, my business really? interests are now vulnerable. Oh. I thought he was an enemy of yours. Perhaps I'm willing to see things in a different light. So she knows about Underhill. So now she's talking to people that would typically oppose her. Because of this current issue. So mm -hmm. she's willing to make friends and deals for now. Isn't that Honegold's flag? Yeah. Oh, shit. He's like all the way. Oh, yeah. He's like at the outskirts. Some shit happened. <laughs> yes. Exactly. What the fuck? And I hear you're the one doing the collecting. Ah. Okay. Captain by a man named Low. They're hiding some piece from their last prize. I'd like you to find out what it is. Easy okay. Max. Going to assume we have an agreement. The 10%. Nice. <laughs> Just like that. It's like... not enough. What? What? Your former shipmates, they wish to sail again under their own banner. Oh. So long as they bear the black mark you put upon them, their prospects will remain dim. Damn. I'd like you to remove it. How how does he remove it? I don't know. Wait, what? Why is everyone watching? Oh shit! He's back. Calm down. Oh okay. wow! You're like, okay. <laughs> He's not bringing the money. Oh. <laughs> Her face. I know. You think the hug was like? I'm struggling here. To go back and retrieve the gold, refit, hire a consort to finish the job. Is that possible? Well, it might have been possible when I had some place to bring it all back home to before the bay fell yep. into the hands of a madman. He and his men were firmly positioned up there and threatening to sink every ship in the bay the moment we made any move against him. So you That's true. What would you have had me do? Yeah. Something. What? Do the thing. What? Use the tunnels. You just sunk every ship in that the bay. That was she the told plan. Two ships in the bay, and it would have been in price worth paying. You weren't here. He has no interest in disrupting the flow of trade. You look me in the eye and tell me that you're certain that if I brought the Urka gold back here past those guns, he wouldn't use his position to rob me of every last ounce of it. Yeah, he, he did. He said it. He said, yeah. <laughs> I feel like everyone's right here. I know. I had to use my judgment whether to let him abort our entire endeavor and see my plans, your plans, evaporate. He died. Or he stop. killed them. Yeah. I stopped him. What did you do? What was necessary? Yep. There is no sacrifice too great to secure that future. There is no sacrifice too great. I thought you and I were in agreement. Damn. He must be removed from that fort. Hmm. She didn't agree. She yeah. She she didn't say yes. She didn't say no. He looks so weird Lady being Elton, unsure. Very generous. I know, right? Visit me, but perhaps I could now escort you back to your carriage. I know what's said about me behind my back. Whispers of infidelities. My husband's heard them. And I suspect, given the look on your face, you've heard them too. Thomas and I are not bothered by them. So the rumors were like, in general. Hmm. Do you think they were like in an open marriage? Maybe. My trouble isn't that she knows how to play the thing between your legs better than I, but the one between your ears. Do you honestly not see it? Oh, damn. She knows it and intends to use it to drive a wedge between us because it is painfully obvious to me. 
and there's nothing I can Maybe he's right. I think he's right. When I'm on the wrong side of that door. Of course I can see it. Then why don't you stop it? Is she playing her? Oh, maybe. <laughs> That's weird. She can see that she's getting played, but she's well, not I getting mean, played. She doesn't she... Ha technically, she doesn't have to do anything. That's true. Right? About it. What's happening exactly? <laughs> I'm repairing your reputations. So just sit there. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like they're cool now. Yeah, I guess. You're still as thick as the moment I first found you fucking behind the galley. <laughs> You'll either be the death of each other, or we'll all end up working for you someday. Foreshadowing? Death of each other? Wow. I don't know. Why now? Yeah. She did you guys a solid. She knows where the cargo is. Jesus. She is She's ready. Quick. How it works. It's crazy. <laughs> Jack is like, that's it? I imagine there are two kinds of men who make their life at sea. Those whose sense of duty forces them to leave any sense of permanence or identity behind them. And those for whom that is the attraction. Which do you think I am? I think you're someone who's very good at managing how you're perceived. Mm. And perhaps getting what you want without anyone ever knowing how you did it. Or perhaps if it ever happened at all. And that's how it started. There's like a gap in the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> what? Vain. Vain? Alone? Or it's a trap. Alone? Do your men even know you're here? Damn, what a douche. Yes, they do. Or oh, wait, no, who's that? What? Are those his men? Or is it just one person? They're gonna take the ship. I get your ship. I get your cargo. Damn! I get it all. And you get nothing. And what? Exactly. But I get my head start. Huh? A head start? Mr. Holmes! There's no Mr. Holmes. Mi Mr. Holmes doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Oh shit. No. Ah. What the fuck? Wait, that's not vain. That's not vain. Is it? Wait, yeah it is. Oh. Woo. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Found the prize they was hiding. Just where the horse hit should be. What the Who fuck? Who is she? Holy shit! You know how like Chris. Lo has like a dark outfit and Vane has like that whitish greenish shirt. Like it looked too dark. I was like, Woo! <gasps> Didn't imagine your new crewmates would appreciate you and I speaking directly. Oh, oh, because he's with Hornigold. You know what happened out there, don't you? What happened to Mr. Gates? Yeah, everyone's talking. There any illusions of what he's capable of, but this is just too much. Eleanor. It's too much. Where are you? Is she doubting Flint? Put your credibility She's scared. Him. Now you would resist him? You need to ask yourself what you want, where your loyalties are. Damn. And whom do you trust? Oh, what, what? the fuck is happening? What happened? Low? Is he sh showing Low's head or something? Look at that. Oh, I angered Charles Vane. Damn! That's a total power move from Vane now. Didn't do it for you. Yes, he did. Oh my god. Freaking Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought she, he was taking her to show her the girl. <laughs> 
for a second there. I was like, wait, why are they doing it in front of the girl? <laughs> Power moves is her love language. <laughs> right? Yeah. We're going to sail again. Look at him. It's almost like he can't believe it. I know. He just walked away. Yeah. What the fuck are you waiting for? Oh. Oh, it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> A threesome. Is that what she's inviting him for? Damn. Look at his face. Oh, wait, hold on. I think both of them are not in on it. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> and, oh. And it's like, keep up, you guys. <sighs> what the fuck? There's something I need to show you. Oh, the okay. Price? Now they're going <laughs> to Now he's going to show her. She has to be royalty or something. She's definitely important. What is Your it? father's Lord Peter Ash, governor of the Carolina colony. Carolina colony. Low recorded in his log the ransom amount he intended to demand. 250,000 pounds. Ah. He's hanged men for merely suspecting them of piracy. He's fanatical about exterminating Damn. men like you. Eleanor, I wasn't asking permission. Do you really want to fuck with someone like that, though? With their kid? Hates pirates? Mm. I don't know. That place no longer exists. What? It's been taken Whoa. from us by a madman. Even if we could make it ashore safely, even if we could ignore all of this and go on to win the Urka's gold, what then? Yeah. What are you going to do with yeah. it? We return home only to have Vayne yeah. extort from oh, us the very prize shit. that we have sacrificed so much to win. They're right outside. Charles Bain I'm sorry. And the animals he commands. Have until sunrise tomorrow to vacate that fort, or so help me, God! Mm. I will rain holy hell down upon him. Holy shit! Damn! Whew. Bam! That was a fucking good episode. This show packs so much into each episode. Yep. Just FYI, if you're wondering why we don't keep certain scenes sometimes out of the 10 minutes, we, are, we usually end up like six minutes over on yeah. footage and we end up having to cut like a third or half of it. Yeah. yeah. For YouTube. <laughs> For YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Eleanor has to fucking pick. She has to pick. Unless Vane somehow ends up on the same side as Flint at some point, which I doubt. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it looks like they're full on ready to take each other on right now. Yeah. And Flint has Hornigold on his side. He has a lot of men, supposedly, right? Or a lot of people are on Hornigold's side. Yeah, because from the... It seems like from the majority of people on this island, or at least where Eleanor um, is in charge of. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no, everyone. You know, the people on the inner part of the island don't like any of them. They right. definitely don't like Vane. Yeah. Because even the, peop the, even the pirate area doesn't really like Vane. Yeah. Like, they, uh, what's his face said? He, but they fear him. Hostage. Yeah. But they fear him. People fear Flint, too. But at this point, after what's his face? After what Lowe, Captain Lowe did? Yeah. And Vane did that weird little head on the spike head display. thing vain asserted like even this dude was no match so I, that guy I don't know if were that guy rained down him. hella fear on the island yeah and the fact that he got taken out by vain right away which by the way i 100 percent did not expect low to die this episode i thought he was yeah. gonna be around the whole season yeah same here so just that alone says how much people are going to fear vain mm -hmm. my question is well one of the things that i have to say is there are so many moves being done by everyone by everyone and multiple moves per episode it's kind of hard to like keep track of like who's talking to who <laughs> but vain is talking to eleanor mm -hmm. right and they have this girl the from Lord Ash's child. 
And apparently there's a huge hefty uh like ransom, ransom, right? Quarter mil. You can argue in some ways that this is a lot riskier because of her dad. Yeah. In the long run. And apparently he fucking hates the pirates yeah. and their way of life. But there is this big jackpot. Right? Then you have Flint with the least risky because the boat, you know, washed up on shore and like it crashed. Yeah, all so they have to just kill the people on the beach. Which is in some ways it's still risky, but they have this accident that's kind of helping the risk factor. You know, things can get lost. Yeah. You're not gonna get as much. People died. So you can kind of there's like a buffer in the attack that Flint did to get this treasure, but it's yeah. still another jackpot. And Eleanor is in the position. To, I guess, decide now which person and which jackpot do I want to go with. You can take right? both and somehow fucking work a compromise in some way. <laughs> I don't know. They hate each other too much, though. Right? <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I think, at least in this episode, um, I really thought she was going to go with Flint when she yeah. had the talk with Mr. Scott. I thought she, so, too. Right? And he said, like, who do you trust? I thought, ultimately, she was going to go with Flint. Um, but I think what scared her too much was that he was willing to kill mr gates yeah i think that's between the fear oh, of like right. how like how is flint this is flint this is a guy i'm making negotiations with i pissed him off in my office earlier today yeah. and he killed his right hand man the guy right? who trusted him the most yeah oh yeah i didn't even think about that i think that's the fear plus uh bane did her the favor mm -hmm. of killing low and that's why she like you know. And like, in the way, going. she still has that weird connection with Bane, which I feel like this is gonna play a role throughout the whole show as long as they're both alive. Yeah, like, they'll always be that like fucking magnet bringing them back to each other in mm -hmm. some type of way. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So I don't necessarily, I don't blame her for going with Bane, but I can totally see Flint, Flint's point of view. They have the same goal. She has not, nothing in common with Bane's whatever his mm -hmm. goal is, but. Flint now is like, well, you have this connection with Vane. I do not. I don't trust him. And the second we show up with our treasure, he's just basically going to, like, take our shit. Yeah. Right? So, like, they need to kind of secure the island before they can go get the treasure. Um, so I can definitely see where Flint is coming from. Um, right? I don't know. Yeah. Um, but Vane also has that ship he took. Yes. So by Flint showing up mm -hmm. in the water right in front of the castle can't Vane just come around him and like also attack from the water like his crew i uh, mean he's not he won't be on the ship but i mean he was he was caught off guard yeah which kind of defeats my question but i don't i i, don't I think the hesitation would be because of the type of ship that flint has right now yeah that warship fucking that thing's fucking awesome right yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be Flint plus a warship and a crew. Like, that's a huge Double the threat. Crew. Right? I well, don't kind know. of. How do you think he's going to attack? If he does want to attack Vane, how do you think he's going to do it? I don't know. Because Vane's up there. Yeah. Mm, and, I like, don't know. his men are, and Flint's men are worn down. They, they like, they're I mean, they spent a home. day, like, nearby. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, and they're yeah. like, their patience, like, thin with Flint. Yeah. Um, but I just, I think it's interesting how Vane basically got himself a ship. Like, he also went around Eleanor. Wait, you know what? He didn't. Is she did okay it. with that? Because well, he basically he went didn't. around. Because she kind of told him to take care of him. Yeah. And she knows... Well, she was maybe betting that he would do it anyway because Vane is connected to her in that kind of way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she knew he was going to do it for her eventually, maybe, or hoped. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think she would count it as, like, going around her. I mean, to the to the island, it might look that way. Yeah, so they'd have to establish some sort of, like, no, we agreed to this so that it doesn't yeah. look like he, like, undermined her. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, um... Well, real quick, the thing going on with Max 
I feel I felt really bad, like not trusting Max mm-hmm. towards the beginning of this episode. But I think at this point, I'm just like, they're all adults. Yes. Anne is quiet, but that does not mean that she is being made a fool of. She's yeah. not being used. I do like that Jack was kind of like, you know, looking out for her. I think that that says a lot about Jack. And I really like the, how close they have this like relationship, this like partnership thing that they have. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm happy that for now, the three of them are getting along. Yes. Um, so, yeah. So I'm excited to see... What happens? I thought that was hilarious. The little the threesome. The, no, oh no! I meant oh. the. I, there I, got, I switched it on you again. <laughs> I know. I'm always you switching always subjects that. and like. He's Assuming like, wait, what are you talking what about? Talking about. <laughs> um, the deal with Vane. Like I thought that was great. It was so simple, but like it did its part. Yeah, and it's awesome that he got pardoned. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and the thing in the bedroom too. Like I think that's cool. It's working. Yeah. Um. So I'm happy with that. Talking about threesomes, yes. I have a feeling that Hamilton and Miranda probably had some sort of an open relationship. And maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> You're like hoping that that was the case. But I have a feeling because she is so comfortable with yeah. Just the way she carries herself, there were already rumors, and she's just like, we're not affected by that. So maybe, like, for, like, this society standards, like, that's scandalous, but, like, they knew each other well. Yeah. And they knew what's up. So, I don't know. I mean, people in power were technically doing the same shit, too, all the time. Right? And, times, the, right? and if they had an agreement, like, you know, more power to them, and it wouldn't affect them. Yeah. Right? Um, I do... Th- I want to see more of Miranda because right he, in present time, Miranda, she's not that interesting, not no. that much. She's just kind of in the house by herself. But the flashbacks, she's got so much going on in here. Yeah. Like, Talking books, politics, fucking philosophy in some kind of she's, way. Yeah. And she's reading Flint. I so love, easily. I love how she was. She said something. I don't think I wrote it down. But it was like um, that he can... He can affect the way people perceive him. Like, he's the kind of person that can do that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he can present himself X way to X people. But yet they have no idea what he's actually doing. Yeah, Yeah. and I just was like... I love how they showed us that because before this episode, I really did not see how she ended up with Flint. With Flint. Like, I was just having such a hard time putting these two together but seeing them in that in the little carriage or whatever yeah. having the conversation like i can see it he's a genius in his own way he's a he's a genius she's kind of like in unlocking <clears throat> certain parts of him and like kind of getting him to kind of like expand his mind mm-hmm. it seems like and they just really had this connection and like she really sparked a lot in him so i want to see more of her and like what was what she what was happening during this time yeah right and also her husband because he was also another big part um, yeah they haven't showed much of him only the conversations with flint Mm -hmm. i wonder if we'll see more of him Mm -hmm. like not through flint's eyes or something yeah yeah like separate from yeah flint yeah um i also want to see more of this well i want to know who this ash person is Mm -hmm. in the colonies Mm mm-hmm and why he's so important. Right. Right? People fear him. Yeah. Is it just because he was like, he hated pirates? And they even said he had people prosecuted just for assuming or thinking he was a pirate, mm-hmm. suspecting him of being a pirate. That's where I have my biggest hesitation about this uh, um, cell or ransom of the daughter, because he is probably someone not to mess with. Oh, yeah. And watch Vane die, but. By- this guy's hands right? or something at some point. Yeah. Because he... Specifically, he is known about something specifically related to pirates. So mm-hmm. I don't... I don't it's a big risk for Eleanor. Um, for everyone, really. Yeah. Oh, and we did, real quick, we did get a clarification from Flint that there is no sacrifice too great. Yep. He said that line. He said that to Eleanor, wasn't it? He said that... Or to who? I just wrote that. I don't remember. <laughs> But I think it was to Eleanor, and I think that also plays into him sacrificing Mr. Gates. 
and i can and, see yeah. i can see her fear in that yep exactly that is what is known about him okay i don't think i have anything else same here mm-hmm. <laughs> if any of you have anything to add for this episode just drop it down in the comments let us know what you thought about this episode without any spoilers um, make sure you like our video subscribe to our channel turn on the notifications and we'll see you all next time thank you bye